Cincinnati Reds jokes, MLB jokes. Q. What is the difference between Johnny Cueto and bowling icon Walter? Ray Williams, Jr. A. Walter Ray Williams, Jr. knows how to throw a strike. Q. Why did the post office recall their latest stamps? A. They had pictures of Reds players on them and people couldn't figure out which side to spit on. Q. Why do people like driving a car with a Reds fan? A. Because you can park in the handicap zone. Q. Why are the Cincinnati Reds starting pitchers like orphans? A. Because they don't know where home is. Q. What's the difference between dirt and the Cincinnati Reds? A. Nothing they both always get swept. Q. What's the difference between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Cincinnati Reds? A. The last Phillies World Series team picture isn't in black and white. Q. What do you get when you combine all 40 Cincinnati Reds with 40 lesbians? A. 80 people that don't do dick. Q. What is the difference between a Cincinnati Reds fan and a pothole? A. I would swerve to avoid the pothole. Q. What song do Cincinnati Reds fans sing before the bottom of the ninth? Inning. A. Nobody knows. There's never any of them left. Q. What's the difference between the Cincinnati Reds and a mosquito? A. A mosquito stops sucking. Q. What do the Cincinnati Reds and possums have in common? A. Both play dead at home and get killed on the road. Q. What is the difference between a Reds fan and a baby? A. The baby will stop whining after a while. Q. What do the Cincinnati Reds and lawn furniture have in common? A. They both fold and end up in the cellar after Labor Day. Q. Did you hear the Cincinnati Reds are moving to the Philippines? A. They are going to be called the Mania Folders. Q. What do I have in common with the Cincinnati Reds? A. Next week, we'll both be watching the World Series on television. Q. What do Cincinnati Reds fans and sperm have in common? A. One in three million has a chance of becoming a human being. Q. How many Cincinnati Reds does it take to change a tire? A. One, unless it's a blowout, in which case they all show up. Q. What do you call 40 millionaires around a TV watching the World Series? A. The Cincinnati Reds. Q. How can you tell if a Reds fan just sent you a fax? A. There's a stamp on it. Q. What do the Cincinnati Reds and Billy Graham have in common? A. They both can make 40,000 people stand up and yell Jesus Christ. Q. What is the difference between a bucket of shit and an Cincinnati Reds fan? A. The bucket. Q. If you have a car containing a Reds shortstop, a Reds catcher, and a Reds outfielder, who is driving the car? A. The cop. Q. How do you castrate an Cincinnati Reds fan? A. Kick his sister in the mouth. Q. What should you do if you find three Cincinnati Reds baseball fans? Buried up to their neck in cement. A. Get more cement. Q. What's the difference between an Cincinnati Reds fan and a carp? A. One is a bottom feeding, scum sucker, and the other is a fish. Q. How did the Cincinnati Reds fan die from drinking milk? A. The cow fell on him. Q. What does an Cincinnati Reds fan do when his team has won the World Series? A. He turns off the PlayStation 3. Q. How many Cincinnati Reds fans does it take to change a light bulb? A. None. Lava lamps don't burn out man. Q. What does a Cincinnati Reds fan and a bottle of beer have in common? A. They're both empty from the neck up. Q. Why do Cincinnati Reds fans keep their season tickets on their dashboards? A. So they can park in handicap spaces. Q. How do the Reds spend the first week of training camp? A. Studying the Miranda rights. Q. How do you keep a Reds fan from masturbating? A. You paint his dick fillies red and white and he won't beat it for four years. Q. 
Why do ducks fly over Great American Ballpark upside down? A. There's nothing worth creping on. Q. Why doesn't Columbus have a professional baseball team? A. Because then Cincinnati would want one. Q. Did you hear that Cincinnati's baseball team doesn't have a website? A. They can't string three W's together. Q. What do you call in Cincinnati Red in the World Series? A. An umpire. Q. What's the difference between a great American ballpark hot dog, and a Citizens Bank Park hot dog? A. You can buy a Citizens Bank Park hot dog in October. Q. Why did BP hire the Cincinnati Reds to clean up the Gulf oil spill? A. Because they'll go out there and throw in the towel. Q. What's the difference between a dead dog in the road and a dead Cincinnati Reds fan in the road? A. There are skid marks in front of the dog. Q. What is a Cincinnati Reds fan's favorite wine? A. We can't beat Philadelphia. Q. How do you stop a Cincinnati Reds fan from beating his wife? A. Dress her in Philadelphia red and white. Q. What do Reds fans use for birth control? A. Their personalities. Q. How do you make a Reds fan laugh on Monday? A. Tell him a joke on Friday. Q. You're trapped in a room with a lion, a rattlesnake, and a Reds fan. You have a gun with two bullets. What should you do? A. Shoot the Reds fan. Twice. Q. What do you call a Reds player with a World Series ring? A. A thief. Q. Why can't the Cincinnati Reds use the internet? A. Because they can't get three W's in a row. Q. What do Michael Jackson and the Cincinnati Reds infielders have in common? A. They both wear one glove for no apparent reason. Q. What does the Cincinnati Reds manager and Alex Trebek have in common? A. Both of their jobs are in jeopardy. Q. Why is Halloween the Cincinnati Reds' favorite holiday? A. It's the only thing in October they have to look forward to. Q. Why do all the trees in the Midwest lean towards Cincinnati? A. It's because the Reds suck. Q. What is the difference between a cactus and the Reds dugout? A. On a cactus the pricks are on the outside. Dear Reds fans, rather than wasting money on a replica hat, just strap a large rubber dildo to your head. Everyone will know who you support. Police in Cincinnati responded to a call of a vehicle break-in. The owner of the vehicle said he two tickets to a Reds game on his dash and someone busted his window and left two more Reds tickets. Reckless driver. A Reds fan liked to amuse himself by scaring every Phillies fan he saw. Strutting down the street in an obnoxious Philly pinstripe shirt. He would swerve his van as if to hit them, then swerve back just missing them. One day while driving along, he saw a priest. He thought he would do a good deed, so he pulled over and asked the priest, Where are you going? Father. I'm going to give Mass at Street. Francis Church, about two miles down the road, replied the priest. Climb in, Father. I'll give you a lift. The priest climbed into the passenger seat, and they continued down the road. Suddenly, the driver saw a Phillies fan walking down the road, and he instinctively swerved as if to hit him. But, as usual, he swerved back onto the road just in time. Even though he was certain that he had missed the guy, he still heard a loud thud. Not knowing where the noise came from, he glanced in his mirrors but still didn't see anything. He then remembered the priest, and he turned to the priest and said, Sorry father, I almost hit that Phillies fan. That's okay, replied the priest I got him with the door. Better at sex. There were two men, one was a Reds fan and the other was a Phillies fan. These men were both madly in love with the same woman. So the woman challenged that whichever man does a better job at having sex with her would be her boyfriend. Both men accepted the challenge. That night, 
the woman had sex with the Reds fan and then the other night. Had sex with the Phillies fan. The next day the woman chose the Phillies. Fan to be her boyfriend. Shocked and outraged, the Reds fan asked why she didn't choose him. She replied by saying, You, like your team not only come up short but always finish early. Career day. It's career day in elementary school where each student talks about what their dad does. Little Johnny is last, and finally the teacher calls on him to talk about his dad. Johnny comes to the front of the class. My daddy is a dancer at a gay bar. He takes off his clothes for other men, and if they pay him enough money, he goes into the alley and performs sex acts on them. The teacher is shocked, and she calls for an early recess for the rest of the class. She sits down with Johnny and asks him if this is really true about his dad. Johnny says, no, but I was too embarrassed to say he played for the Cincinnati Reds. First grade. A first grade teacher explains to her class that she is a Cincinnati Reds fan. She asks her students to raise their hands if they were Reds fans, too. Not really knowing what a Reds fan was, but wanting to be like their teacher, hands explode into the air. There is, however, one exception. A girl named Mary has not gone along with the crowd. The teacher asks her why she has decided to be different. Because I'm not a Reds fan. Then, asks the teacher, what are you? Why I'm proud to be a Philadelphia Phillies fan. Boasts the little girl. The teacher is a little perturbed now, her face slightly red. She asks. Mary why she is a Phillies fan. Well, my dad and mom are Phillies fans, and I'm a Phillies fan, too. The teacher is now angry. That's no reason, she says loudly. What if? Your mom was a moron, and your dad was a moron, what would you be then? A pause, and a smile. Then, says Mary, I'd be a Reds fan. Father and son. A father and son are outside Great American Ballpark, and the young son is asking his father to buy him a Cardinals Suck t-shirt. The father hesitates, but finally tells his son, you can have the shirt if you promise never to say that word. That's right, says the t-shirt vendor, wanting to make the sale. Suck isn't a very nice word. No, replies the father. I meant the word Cardinals.